Hey guys, welcome to the Duotone tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a Spotify-like design for the Duotone, Duotone tutorial effect that they have going on right here. As you can see in the background, they've got two colors that made up a whole image. And so we're going to be doing that on our own subjects and artists. So I'm going to delete this layer. And so the artist that I chose is Baby No Money. And this video is from a genius video that he did with Y2K on his song La La La, which you've probably heard from TikTok. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to color select that background out of here. So we just get the subject. That worked pretty well. Um, it's always useful to get people from Genius because they've got a really bright yellow background, so it almost acts like a green screen. And so now we've already got the subject. We're going to create a new layer, go to the fill bucket on the left, and just set it to black for now. And so then what we can do, so this is the main part that will allow you to control all the colors, but I'm going to show you guys how to use it, how to change it. There's a few tricks that'll help it all stand out. So what we're going to do, we're going to click gradient map, then we're going to make sure that layer is at the top. Now as you can see, everything is in black and white. For the reason that that, that is, that I have a gradient that goes from black to white. So this gradient here, unless you click reverse, um, on the left side, it's all black. On the right side, it's all white. The darker colors will be black, which is on the left. The, white, the lighter colors will be white, which is on the right. But let's say I change the lighter colors to be a blue. Then all the lighter colors in the image will be blue. So what we can do is then select a gradient that I have or make a new one which will allow you to make a duotone effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this go from we could go from a dark green here to a lighter green whoops, here. So actually that orange looks pretty neat. So I don't know. We'll go from a dark green to a light blue, just like that. So now we've got a cool duotone effect, but this doesn't really look complete yet. And there's a few ways that we can change that. The first one is by selecting the gradient tool by right clicking the bucket, clicking and dragging if you have set black to white, and now you've got a cool gradient in the background. This is just a simple way that you can help it stand out. If you want the gradient to be less obvious, just scale this up, move around as you wish. So you've got what you like. Another cool trick to have the gradient is do a sort of like a gradient swap. I don't know how to describe this, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna select tool, then click and drag, then you're gonna do control J. What this will do is duplicate the area you selected, do control T, and then hold Alt and Shift while you drag here, and then flip it. And you've got a cool little effect going on in the background, which always looks neat. Um Another thing we can do is we can actually raise the brightness of the or in the contrast of the subject and everything below the gradient map to make it have a stronger change in colors. So if we go to adjustments, and if you don't see these, just click windows, they're going to go down to adjustments, and then click the brightness and contrast. If you raise the contrast, you'll notice that there's a stronger difference in the colors. So we're going to raise the contrast and lower the brightness just a tad. And you'll see that it already looks better. Um, something else we can do is that they usually have some sort of shape going on in the background that's usually all white. So what we can do is we can click and drag right here. Well, well first we'll select the sort of shape tool on the left, towards the bottom. Right click it for the ellipse tool because we're going to make circles. And then the stroke we're going to set it to none. The fill we're just going to set it all to white. Then we can hold and make circles. So you hold shift to keep it as a circle, not an oval, and then alt to hold it from the start point. But that doesn't matter because we can just move it around. So we'll just add some circles as we see fit. But as you'll see very quickly is that they'll stick to the blue color that we set at the start on the gradient effect. And that's because it's under the adjustment layer of the gradient. What if we don't want that? What if we want these to be all white? Simple enough, all we have to do is click the ellipse tool and drag it in front of the um, in front of the gradient map, so on top of it. This only affects what's below it. So now I'm looking at it, I actually want the blue to be a bit more blue, so I'm going to go to properties, 
go to the blue right here, click it, select it, and just drag it all the way to the top right. It's good enough. And then let's say I want more of the highlights to be blue. What I can do is I can click right here below the bar near the blue, and then I can drag left. And if I drag it all the way, you'll see that it'll be all blue. But if I drag it, let's say 80%, You'll see that there'll be more parts that are blue, not as many that are green. Let's say I wanted the background to be more green. What I can do is I can go and select the top background, click Adjustments, Brightness. I can simply lower the brightness and it'll make it more green because the dark colors are green. Or if I want that to be more blue, I can raise it and it'll be more blue. So I'm just going to lower that a bit. And then well, let's say the ellipse circles the, the, just the circles. I want one to be behind them, but I can't do that because let's say I make a new layer behind them and I make one and oh no, it's beneath the gradient map. What you can do is you can create a clipping mask so that a layer only affects or overlays a layer that is below, that it's clipped. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that for both the gradient, the brightness, onto the subjects. So we're going to select both by holding gradient, by holding control and then clicking the gradient and the brightness. That what we're gonna do is we'll make sure that the subject is below these two layers, right click, create a clipping mask, and you'll see it'll only affect these, it'll only affect the subject or whatever in this layer. But now we're missing it from the background. So what you wanna do is you wanna select both again, and then right click to duplicate or just simply click, click Control J on Windows. And you're gonna drag this down to the background. Now you've got everything you need. And then meanwhile, we can make a layer right here below the subject and make our circle. And it'll be unaffected from the map, or from, yeah, from the gradient map because this gradient map is on a different, it's clipped onto the subject layer. So just to make this a bit neater, what we can do is maybe add a drop shadow onto that circle, help create an extra level of realism. So we're going to double click the subjects layer. Scroll down so we see drop shadow. Then we're just gonna lower the size, angle it so it shows up a bit more. Boost the size so we can see what's going on. And just adjust it until you see it fit. So there we go, I'm pretty proud of this. Um, maybe we can add some text to it. Say like, baby no, baby no money grow this and so I've accidentally put this on the clipping mask I'll just put it below there we go make it white there we go so now we've got a little text double click the eclipse um, layer so that you create a drop shadow onto the text but oh no Notice it's putting it on outside of the text as well. So what can we do? Well, we can use another function instead of making the drop shadow through the double click through the layer styles, but instead of make we can make our own and then clip it onto the text. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it, control J. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna color it black, so just double click, color overlay, and black. Then we're gonna put it above the text layer. We're gonna right click and click clipping create clipping mask. And so now you've got a black circles only on the text layer but this doesn't look like a shadow yet so what we can do we can head over to filter click blur Gaussian blur and then we're just gonna rasterize it why not and then we can increase this until what we see fit but it won't show up actually unless you rasterize so we're just gonna rasterize it right now rasterize layer style then go back to the blur there we go now we can blur it as we see fit I'm just gonna blur it a bit then maybe I'm gonna move it down right. So I'm just gonna control T, move it down right a bit. And maybe I'll slightly lower the opacity. Here we go. Now we've got an album cover, with the two artists, but I just included Baby No Money. Sorry, Y2K. Um, and we've got a duo gradient, duo, duo gradient effect that's inspired from Spotify. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be making more of these commercial designs. There's a lot of Spotify covers that are really interesting and they're not that hard to make.
they're really simple all they're really based on is a single adjustment just like the gradient map here and um yeah i'll see you guys in a later video thank you for watching